What's going on, everybody? Elliot with the H Ash Gaming here. Welcome to episode two of our modded Minecraft Let's Play. The first episode was, you know, nothing spectacular. We started up a new world, we built a house, we got things going. On well, this episode, we are going to start. We're gonna start, you know, we're gonna start getting stuff put together. Start. Um, I don't think we're really gonna work on the floors here for a little bit, but I am going to, I am going to, I'm gonna try and find some supplies this episode. I really need to start coming up with like better scripts and stuff for this. I need to actually maybe start going up, coming up with scripts for this because I just kind of improv it the whole time and that's not great. What I want to do this episode is I want to find a cave, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the house and I'm going to hit C and we're going to mark a waypoint. Home. And we're going to make it a fiery blood red. We're going to make it a deep crimson. A deep crimson home. And I made the I made the music restart. See, that's how cool it was. Like, wow, that was so cool. You get to hear me again. So, yeah, I want to find a cave. That's kind of that's priority one is going to be find a cave. Find a cave that I can explore to get some iron. Because I'd like to have a full set of tools and a full set of armor. By the end of this episode, I just need to find a worthy cave. We don't have, we, we have enough for eight torches and I'm gonna, gonna sort my hotbar here based on how I would normally sort my hotbar when I explore caves, being shovel, pickaxe, torch, sword, food. Usually there's another weapon, usually some sort of ranged weapon. I don't have one yet, but once I get a bow, we're gonna start doing that. So we're gonna march down here, we're gonna see if there's any coal in here, it's coal and iron, if there's some iron, there's some coal. Hopefully there's no baddies in here. It doesn't look like there's any. Oh, there's a Cyclops and a zombie. Cyclopses are naturally passive, so I'm not going to worry about him. I'm going to get rid of this... I'm going to get rid of this zombie who was, you know, so rude and decided to smack me around a little bit. But we're going to get this coal. we get this coal so we can have enough for... For torches, I'm not really gonna like dive super deep into caves today, but I am going to. I'm gonna go a little bit further down. I hear another zombie. I heard. I heard your footsteps. I heard your footsteps. Don't think you're gonna pull a fast one on old E. That's not how this works. That is not how this works. As you can see, cave map. Kind of overpowered. I see a dungeon. I see a dungeon on the cave map. It's not anywhere close to me, unfortunately, but it is there. But that does mean that there is a dungeon somewhat close to the surface. Because once you go above it, it disappears from the cave map. So, and by, dis and by above it, I mean like as soon as you jump one block above it, it'll, it'll start to go away. So that means there's a dungeon, a dungeon pretty close to the surface. And if I do a little bit of experimenting... Maybe we, we may even be able to find out what Y level it's on. Looks like it's on Y level 56. You can see that just that square where my middle arrow is pointing at. You can see that square in the top middle. So yeah, that's a dungeon. You can even see the mob spawner in the middle. If you go back and pause it, and you can see one little discolored block in the middle. That's the spawner. Unfortunately, chests don't pop up very well, so I don't know if there's any chests in there, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm, I'd like to really stumble across that. That scared me. I was not expecting that to break so soon. That's why I was getting the cobblestone. Well, I really do need cobblestone because I need to put more furnaces in the house because one furnace is not going to cut out. like at least a, anywhere between three and six. So we're just going to get a bunch of cobblestone right here. This is really... Another reason I came down here is I want to get cobblestone for some furnaces. <clears throat> and I can also I can also find iron. I maybe get shears. Maybe I get a little bit of a head start on the floor. So I think my parents just got home? Huh. Where's my phone? My phone's over here. I can just check something to see if 
they're home or not. They're not someone on my someone on my street. One of my neighbors must have just gotten home. Yeah, it sounds like it's across the street, so it's not in my driveway. Alright. Looks like it's just a bunch of bats floating around. Doesn't look like a whole lot. We're not gonna go super deep because I really don't wanna see I really don't want to run into any of the any of the cave monsters within the Divine RPG mod right away. I wanna kinda be a little protected for that. Looks like the Cyclops despawned. And there's another oh, there's a couple more zombies. Die you jerks. Back it up. Oh, sorry, bat. You got caught in the crossfire. That's just what happens in war. Oh god. Back it up. Back it up, you jerks! You jerks! Oh god. Don't think you're gonna outsmart me. I got a potato. Cool, I can start a potato farm as well. There's a lot of bats in here. The, the batty cave. That looks like all it is for this cave, so we're gonna we're gonna mine it out real quick. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of iron, but it's gonna be enough for a pickaxe and a shovel and a set of shears, because we already have an iron sword, so we really don't need to make another one. So one very important thing with about the Divine RPG mod is there's Divine RPG ores and stuff that develop deep down and something's messing with my door. Oh, my parents are home. Alright, let me just let me just uh, text my mom real quick. Recording a Minecraft episode right now now gotta space it out right that's just so my mom doesn't that's just so no one comes up and tries to enter my room when while I'm recording does that happen when I first recorded when I recorded the first episode but I decided to not I decided to dump that world and change it up because I didn't like my spawn I spawned in the middle of a, a mountain biome with like little to no trees and I wasn't I wasn't on board with that but yeah oh it's nighttime that's no good and by the looks of it there's quite a few monsters up there yeah a lot of a lot of bad guys there are endermen though there are endermen over there hanging out by that hut so here's what I'm gonna do we need to kill zombies. And there's an angry zombie in there too. I'm gonna clear this out. Come and get me, you jerks. I'm ready. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now we're gonna hide under this tree. We're actually going to cut this tree down. Not all the way yet, but that'll give me a nice... Oh, where'd the Enderman go? He walk around the house? They disappeared. They despawned. What a bunch of losers. Piggy! Ba bam I didn't like the way he was looking at me. That, that's the thing. You look at me wrong, you get the iron sword. Alright, yep, I saw you. Ah! Back it up. Order. Nope, that's not where the wood block is. Come on, man. You, can, you can't leave me alone for one second, can ya? That guy's a spider. Cool, give me your string. I need a bow. Arrgh. Spider, give me your string. I need a bow. Add up, boy. Is that three string? That is. Oh, got another spider. I am. Oh, that was the... I got really scared for a second. I'm like, what in the world was that? It was just the Cyclops. Piggy! Ba-bam! Ooh, goblins. The spider can't get around them. Eh. Alright, goblins. I think you saw goblins in the last episode. I don't remember things too well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna fight them. We're gonna fight them. I just need to eat food. Well, aggro one. 
Make sure that I fend him off every hit and not let him hit me. And give me the Turan shards. Because he actually gets a pretty good... I think it's a pretty good... There's a freaking skeleton shooting at me. And I don't appreciate it. Eh. Alright, one more Coblin. Oh, there's two more. Cool. Oh, I aggro them both. That's not good. Eh. 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 No. Die. Die. So, someone's messaging me. That's my that's my friend. That's my friend. Uh, my friend can wait. My friend can wait. We got five Turan shards. Which is, you know, not bad. Not bad. Four more for a Turan stone. Piggy! Ba -ba oh, God, the Coblins. You messed up my Piggy, ba bam! Ba bam! See, Coblins can be kind of freaky. Guys! Stop messing with my boy, um, Paul. Paul is the name of this guy. Don't worry, Paul, I got you covered, homeboy. It was part of that one over there. It just kind of migrated over here. <laughs> Yet there's another one. There's three of them. Oh, I guess he's from that one. They all just kind of made their way over here. What? Okay, I see. No. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. No, he's hitting him. Oh, God, spider. Ooh, it's dangerous out here. Run for cover, Dave. Paul, what are you doing? There's spiders around. Gotta go to sleep. Gotta go to sleep. Sleep through the night. Alright, that was a mess. But, yeah, we survived. That's the, that's the important thing. Alright, we need... Hmm, we need more furnaces. That's not a furnace. That is not. I can see how you. I can see how I get confused, but no, it's not a furnace. All right, boom. Start cooking that. We'll start cooking that, and we'll start cooking that. And that'll be a that'll be a good start. We got we got the iron, and we actually do have enough terrain shards for our first terrain stone. I need four in order to make a Turan Maul. Turan Maul's a good... Turan Maul is a really good... Is a really good... It's a really good weapon. Jeez, I cannot speak today. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm just not good at speaking words. Not good at anything. I can't even put sticks in the right place. Getting an upgrade. That's a good thing to have. It's always nice to have a nice upgrade. Make the food... And boom. Shears. Also, when I press T, I I sorted out my inventory. I can also do the same thing with this. Boom. The chest is now sorted. You can do the default sort. Sort in columns. Sort in rows. I like it like that, though. That's a, that's a mod. I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Put the string away like a fool. Where's my string? Oh, I actually had a lot of string. Well then, embarrassing. I have a single arrow. Oh well, that'll do some damage. God, those livestock merchants are getting annoying. Mmm. Mm. I'm gonna kill them all myself, but I can't because they have eight. They have a thousand health, and that's gonna take a lot of durability out of my sword. Sheep, give me your wool. Provide me with that what gives you warmth. I love the little snippy sound that it makes. Snip, snip. 
All right, we got six. Let me go and count how many, how many I'm gonna need. Because I want the living room, or like the main room to be white wool. And I don't know what I'm gonna do for the bedroom. I might do orange. Let's see, so we got five blocks here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 6, 7. We need 57 pieces of wool. That's gonna take a while. I ran right into the freaking water like a moron. Are there more sheep out here? No, it's, it's, it's just pigs. Piggies? Ba-bam. Ba-bam. And finally, ba-bam. Are there any other caves nearby? Is that... That is... That is not, not good. Not good at all. <laughs> let me... Let me leave the world and come right back. <laughs> Just a moment. Now that looks better. That looks a lot better. This doesn't look like there's anything bad here. In the desert. Usually there is, but, you know. Oh, that's a saguaro worm. They're scary. They're, they're actually, like, quite scary. I don't want to get, like, too close to it, but I will show you what it does. Oh, my God. Look at that. And then, like, shoots, like, this weird dust stuff at you. Oh, it's so scary. I don't like it. I don't like the saguaro worms. They have 80 health too. They're actually they actually pack quite the punch, which is why I like to avoid them until I have at least a decent set of armor. Really, most of the divine RPG monsters you really want to avoid aggroing unless you have a decent set of armor. Oh, eggs, eggs everywhere! I actually need you because I need your feathers. So give me your feathers, you jerks. Giveth me your feathers. Don't hide in the grass. I know that acts as like a makeshift shield, but I can just punch right through that crap. Alright, we're at 22 wool. We need 57. What we need to do, so we're almost halfway to a fully carpeted living room. And we're not really like going to do carpet. We're going to do full blocks because carpet's lame. I don't like the way it looks. 24. Oh, there's cows over there, too. There's just a lot of... A lot of sheep around. Yeah, there's a lot of sheep. This is actually not going to take very long at all. We could actually have a fully... Have a fully... We're, yeah, we're gonna have a fully, like, walled out floor. We just need four more. We need one more. There we go. And I think we'll do red wool for the bedroom. Which I think is going to be, like, ten blocks, so. We'll get to a stack in three. Ah, goblins. I saw you at the last second. Arr. Ha ha, I got the Turan shard. Oh god, there's another one. Get him. <laughs> Didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Alright, I need one more. I need one more wool. Bam! We'll get some extra because I like paintings. I like to hang paintings up in the house. We're just getting a, just getting a bunch of wool. All right, let's head home. All right, basic supplies have been obtained. And actually, I think I want to go blue wool for the bedroom. Ooh, hello. Hello, all right. I don't know how I didn't see this here, but... Really? Alright, well, we have discovered 
a possible very large cave and there's skeletons in it all right we're bailing we're bailing get me get me up get me up get me up this is not up this is anything but up wait is this up oh it is up nice 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 no it's not no dang it oh god the zombies oh god the zombies got it gotta go uh, gotta get, gotta get that, 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 boom, 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 gotta get that, okay, let's go. For all these sheared sheep. Right, going home, we're gonna lay down the, we're gonna lay down the carpet. And I think in episode three, we are going to explore that cave. We're actually gonna go and mark that as a waypoint, so I don't so I don't lose it. All right. We're gonna go up, up down here and we're going to mark it cave one. We do a bright lime green. That'll look good. All right, cave one. So we have two waypoints marked. All right, so we're gonna head home. We're gonna lay down the carpet. And this episode's gone long enough. I think we'll end the episode here. This episode also not really super duper action packed, but you know, we, we fought through the night and just, that's there's nothing in there. Oh snap, brown sheep. Gotta, gotta get it, bam. Piggy, ba bam. Good stuff, Piggy, ba bam. Oh god, I didn't ba bam. I'm the worst at this. All right, there's the old homestead. There's a uh, Dave, and that's Paul. Paul has 850 health remaining. Health subject to change, obviously. All right, we're gonna uh, pop this in the furnace. I'm gonna pop this in the furnace. I'm gonna pop this in the furnace. And then we're going to dig all this out. And it's gonna take a while because, you know, stone shovel, not super fast. I'm used to my other worlds where I have all this, like, beefed out stuff, this beefed out weapons and beefed out tools and stuff. I'm not used to stone shovel. I have a shovel in my, old, in my main world made with guys. God, they're just hanging out around my door like a bunch of creeps. Cool beans. And then we got pink. And we got pink. Look how nice that looks. I think it looks quite nice. And then we'll We'll pop a nice um We'll do that there for the time being and then we're gonna make some sticks. I'm going to put up a painting. Gonna put up a painting. We're gonna put it up right here. Nope. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. No. Give me give me a two by two paint. Two by two paint. Nope, that's a one by one. Two by two. No. Dang it. Oh god. Forgot how far paintings fly. Please. There we go. It's Mr. Bones. What a nice guy. Alright. Cool cool beans. Cool beans. And I'm gonna like do stuff with this in a little bit. Like I'm going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decorate a little bit more around that painting. Don't worry, it's not just gonna be a random skull painting on the wall. It's gonna look, it's gonna look quite nice. All right, all this is cooked. We'll cook the remaining beef, and we're going to we're gonna make a couple. Well, we're gonna make one to randstone. We're gonna sort. We're gonna put away. 
and then we're going to sort again. And then I'll sort this out. Excellent. All right, that's going to do it for that's going to do it for episode 2. Not a not a super action-packed episode, but next episode's going to be better. We're going to go cave diving. Hey, stop interrupting my intro, you jerks. Oh, stop interrupting my outro. Angry zombies. You leave those guys alone. No! No, leave, leave them alone, you jerks. Is there more in there? They're going after Steve. No! Hey! Stop it! Oh god, it, it, it's, it's, it never ends. It never ends. This, you know, the zombies start coming and they don't stop coming. Die. I'm trying to do my outro here. I keep getting interrupted by these clowns. Uh, you're just a creeper. You're doing your own thing. These guys are just roaming around. I'm not going to save them if they just keep roaming around where they can get mauled by zombies. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank y'all for watching. I know this episode wasn't like super action packed, but the next one will because we're going to go cave diving. We're going to jump into cave one and see what's down there. Hopefully, hopefully there's some good stuff. We can make some armor like right away. We have leather. We can at least make a leather tunic. But um, next video that's going to be coming out is going to be episode two of it's going to be the second part of Dead Center for Left for Dead 2. I'm going to have to start editing that either tonight or tomorrow night because that's going up on Friday. And then on Monday, I'm going to have another SpongeBob episode out. And then we're just going to circle between these three series for a little bit before I decide to start another one. But thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like. Leave a comment if you'd like. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to. I'd appreciate it a ton. And until next time, see you all later.